I'm Jessica Abel. I'm starting a new graphic novel project and I'm giving away my clothes. And I might want to draw you wearing them. If you've heard of me, it's probably because of this doorstop, a 250-page graphic novel called La Perdida. I haven't drawn a substantial comics project since then. For anybody counting, that was six years ago. I, uh, have I been resting on my laurels? It's not that I haven't been busy. I wrote Carmina, a novel. I renovated this house. I did freelance illustration for the ALA and the New York Times and other outlets. I planted this garden. I taught classes at the School of Visual Arts in New York and at schools throughout the country. Well, two and a half divided by three. Just kidding. I had a kid. I wrote another graphic novel, Life Sucks. I built this coffee table. My husband Matt and I became series editors of the Best American Comics. I think we need to have a meeting about this. I built this thing to put your keys in. I wrote a textbook, drawing words and writing pictures. I did a lot of traveling. I built a website with free resources for comics students and teachers. I had another kid. I wrote another textbook, Mastering Comic. Hey Bob, it's Jessica. It'll be released this spring. Hillary is here filming me. No, I'm talking to my agent, man. That's what I do. <laughs> I decided to get rid of most of my clothes. Since 2008 or so, I've been working on a script for another graphic novel, Trish Trash, Roller Girl of Mars. Believe it or not, it was sparked by a silly illustration I did for drawing words and writing pictures back in 2007. The plan was to collaborate with a great cartoonist like I had on Life Sucks. I signed a contract with a third artist with Dargo, a French publisher. And it'll be published in this format. But after two years of not much progress, the artist and I decided we had artistic differences. He liked the story, but he somehow couldn't see himself drawing this whole thing. That doesn't mean the publisher isn't interested. The publisher is still waiting for someone to draw the book. And in the end, that person who's going to work on it for several years, right here. That's me. I'm going to draw this thing. I'm not going to do it alone. Uh, my lovely assistant, Lydia. Lydia Roberts, who's a very, very talented young woman. I haven't drawn a substantial comics project since then. Six years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not really. Okay. <laughs> so the long and the short of it is I'm out of practice. Okay, so I'm about to tell you something that I really shouldn't tell you. What I'm about to admit is a little bit akin in the cartoonist community to admitting to, you know, having a handicapped mother who you don't feed, okay? Um, I don't use a sketchbook. Nothing. I used to keep a sketchbook and then I just ran out of, I felt like I ran out of time, but of course it, it's not really an excuse when you're trying to do good work, you need to be doing this preparatory work. And so, for this giant project I have to do, uh, and try to prepare properly, I don't, need, I don't need the desire, it's not that I don't want to do this drawing, but it would, um, it would help me a lot to have, let's say, a kind of deadline. Um, to have somebody out there who cares whether I actually do these preparatory drawings or not. And that somebody is you. So, um, remember how I said that I was getting rid of all of my clothes? What I plan to do is to draw uh, figure drawings wearing my old clothes, for the most part. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give these drawings away to you, my supporters, along with the actual clothes. So 1940s uh, men's swim trunks, totally hot, hot pants, my old Kango hat, brand name, 1940s platform shoes, this shirt from H&M, vintage 1950s, some very oddball things, backpack made out of an entire goat skin that I bought in Africa. These are the legs. It was a lady goat, size 9 blue suede shoes, men or women. And I'll be doing drawings in, in pencil, in ink, and in color, probably colored ink, and be giving those away along with clothing. And the pledge levels start basically at $5 where you get an, a personalized postcard which will have a drawing, one of the drawings printed on it. 
to you know $150 where I will draw a drawing of you or a loved one wearing my clothes. <laughs> Christmas is coming! <laughs> I know this is a slightly weird idea, but I hope you think it's fun, and I hope you're excited by the idea of getting some original art from me, and I hope you're inspired by the idea of helping me do the best work I can on my new graphic novel, Trish Trash, Roller Girl of Mars.